Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a soap dispenser, kitchen soap dispenser um, cleaner, uh, container or product. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty big. So when you first get it, this is actually separated from this one that's attached on the bottom. However, I've tried to uh, try to see if I could take it off. I really can't anymore. So I was having issues on how to assemble this by putting soap initially inside. And the reason for that is, is it's, you know how like when you open something, you turn, let's see, you turn a right to, to open it or what is it? This is reverse. So you lock it by going to the left or counterclockwise. And then you open it by going to the right or clockwise. As you can see, I can detach it now. Let me show you. I can detach it now. And and you have to kind of match it because there are grooves on it. And have to match it. And you gotta be careful because when you push too hard, it will spout out the soap. And that's what was happening to me. Because this is like the tenth video I'm trying to do. So because I'm doing the review or video, it's a little bit difficult. So now I'm going to try and lock it. Now it's greasy again because of the soap that's all over. So I'm just going to wash my hand right there. So this is going to show, there you go. So now it's completely locked when you turn a left or counterclockwise and to open it is you turn a right and there you go it's detached again right there okay so that's how you open it is to turn the right or clockwise and to lock it is to turn a left or counterclockwise and there are grooves on it which I will show if you could see that I don't know if you could see it there are grooves on it oh it's gonna spill I'm sorry so we can't show that right now. So it's got a fit. And there you go, now it's locked. So, the great thing about this is that I just, this is actually built to match with a scrub daddy. Um, but scrub daddy, I did try it with a scrub daddy and it's great and all that and it fits just fine right there. But I do prefer my sponge um, right here it just it's better and it doesn't break down like the scrub daddy does and I'm having issues with the scrub daddy but I still do have scrub daddy because I'm not wasteful and I don't want to throw them out so just to show you it fits perfectly with the scrub daddy and now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it so I do have some cups here that I was soaking and I'm gonna show you how much of the soap that comes out. And don't be uh, worried or scared. Initially, in the first few times you pump it, it's not going to be a lot of soap. And that's what happened to me. And I thought, oh, wow, it's not gonna be that great. But then after you've pumped it for like five to 10 times, that's how much soap that comes out. And it just really depends. See, the scrub daddy already fell out. It just depends on how or what kind of dish soap you use that will make it nice, so. Like I was really enjoying every day washing these because usually I just do, I just really um, soak them, rinse them, and then pop them in the dishwasher. Sometimes I don't even do any of that. I just kind of soak them if the dishwasher is working right now and it's full and stuff like that. Just gonna rinse it out. Usually I just wring it, I pop it on there. I just clean it and it smells so great. The soap does not come with the, the dispenser, by the way. The dispenser can hold a really, like, a, I'm going to put it down below. Um, I don't remember the exact amount, but it's a, it's a big container, so I love that. And I'm just going to let that air dry. I'm going to do another one so you guys can see that right there. And there's still some soap in there. What I find is that I love pushing it down and getting more soap and I don't have to I don't have to push like a spout and you know how like a spout can just keep dripping and dripping and dripping and this doesn't seem to do that so I like that. 
this is what I do to kind of not be too wasteful, is I just do that so that it soaks. These are just new ones that didn't fit in the dishwasher. And I wanted to demonstrate with you guys. I ran out of stuff to clean, actually. I was using this yesterday with like plates. I usually don't do that because I'm terrified. I'm terrified to hand wash plates. And the reason for that is, is that they always slip in front of my hands. And that's also another reason why I'm terrified to um, wash by hand because they slip from my hands and then they break. So that's another reason. So now I'm gonna pump it. I'm gonna push it down again. Usually I just push it with the sponge, but for demonstration, I'm just gonna do that so you guys can see what I did. And I usually just let this air dry, and the reason that I do that is because I don't really have the time, and I don't like drying. Because again, I'm terrified of, of um, I'm terrified of things falling from my grass, and that was a little too hot now. Um, but I prefer the water to be very, very hot. It's just I think it's psychological, but I want it to be very, very hot that it kills everything. But anyway, um, I don't like drying and I don't like hand washing and the reason is I've dropped so many things by doing that and they break. And when things break, I'm very terrified because um, I don't want anybody to get cut and I have a child and things that break can usually ricochet and a little shards can go somewhere and then you step on it and then, you know, it's just, it's just an issue I don't like to deal with. So that's where it is. And you guys have a little special treat because that's the stain that I have on my sink. Tried, if you guys have any suggestions now, dude, I've tried a lot of different things. So you guys have a little treat, uh, treat because I was going to clean my contact lens clean, uh, containers because I have bad eyesight. So if you guys, um, want to know what I'm doing, that's what I do. And what I did was I actually didn't use the dish soap for this one, but I'm going to do it for this for the final clean. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I did this. I used this one. I sprayed about four different sprays and I let it soak. It's been soaking for about an hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a final rinse. Because it's just... I get issues with my eyes. Issues meaning I've had my eyeball cut. Yeah. It's just when you use contact lenses, it's a higher risk of problems with your eyes. But I can't see right, and glasses are difficult for me to use because I have astigmatism. And for me, everything is just super blurry, even with the glasses. And um, I actually, the depth for me, it's actually difficult. I actually hit my saw, I actually hit my arms and my shoulders and walls. You see how clean that is? But that's from the soap too. But it's just convenient though. Like I love it. The sponge is amazing. I still use these. If you guys haven't seen my review for these sponges, you guys should check that out. Sponges are amazing. I love using them. I think I made that video like years ago and I'm still using them. Things are rare to stick on it. So like I like you've seen, I use it on so many different things with one sponge and it's it still looks pretty clean, doesn't it? Clean, clean, clean. So this is getting too hot. And yes, I always um, wash with uh, a sponge. I mean uh, glo gloves. The reason for that is I don't want my hands to get very dry. Why do I have two different kinds of contact lens cleaner? Uh, I mean, contact lens container. The reason for that is, is you always get these stuff and they're very affordable and sometimes you get them for free in the mail. Um, but I usually have two, three different kinds out because um, you know how like it gets very dirty 
and I just let it soak with a different solution. That's what I do. So that's why I'm doing this. And so I'm going to rinse that out. And as you can see, I'm going to try to show you guys. It is super clean. It is super clean right there. If you guys can see that. Well, this one might be a bust now. Well, it was free. Well, all of them are easy for you, but this is a bust, so I'm going to throw these out. I've got so many of these, of like just contact lens holders. Because you get them for free in a lot of different ways. So, they're cute though, the black ones, you know, they're cute. But uh, they broke in the first time I'm cleaning them. So that's not so great, but they're free, like I said. And you can get contact lens containers. I'll try to link those down below if you guys are curious where to get them. So here they are. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like you get samples. You know? You get samples and I'm just gonna rinse them out. As you can, did you see that? The scrub daddies, ugh, it just breaks apart every time it's being used. And I haven't even used that until I got the soap dispenser and I used it one time. And now I'm trying to give you guys a demo with it and it's breaking apart again. Okay, so this is what it is. Let's turn this off. And I've been really, really loving it. Loving it. I haven't had any issues. And if I do, and after I use it for quite a long time, I'll probably do like an update review, but so far, it's been great. I still do get questions from my um, Bluetooth soap dispenser. I still use it. I did do a review on this one years and years ago. So if you guys are curious, this is still our staple um, kitchen hand soap dispenser. I love when everything is automatic or easy to use. It's just more efficient. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. If there are other products that you guys believe I'll probably enjoy trying testing out and sharing with you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below. I love I love hearing from you guys all the time. Anything else guys and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.